Hello everyone, it is I, James the Squirrel again, and I am here, as always, with Nikki V. Hello. We, we I'm are, very tired. We are not recording this god-awful hour at a god-awful hour for t Nikki. I am so very sorry. It's 2.20 in the morning, but I'm talking about NXT tonight. Well... I want oh, to we're talking about NXT. I, 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 I want to point something out, which is sad. NXT has mm -hmm. had a better run, is having a better run up to WrestleMania than both Raw and SmackDown. Uh, yeah. Well, the the last Raw was pretty good. Like, eh. normal, like I'm a, I'm a SmackDown guy, but like I will fully admit, besides the main event stuff, last week's SmackDown was kind of. Eh. L let me well, point that, in, that, let... and be that and besides uh, freaking Dean Ambrose getting crushed with a forklift, that was that was all right. All, all, all those in favor of saying that Raw did not stick the landing with the final pay per view leading up to WrestleMania, say aye. 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 Anyway, NXT. So yes. I believe first we the, had a the, promo with the real A show. So so we had a promo correct with um. With those people, um... You mean Sanity? Yeah, Sanity. Sanity promos are good. Uh... Shit, I do not remember this. If, like, I got notes here. It was... Um, it was right at the start. It was over... It was over... Um... Ty Dillinger well, it, and... No way... It, it was part... It was part of the, uh... Opening to the Dillinger-Young match that started the show. Uh... Basically, Young came out... Uh, ordered the rest of Sanity away. And then as uh, Eric Young got into the ring, the rest of Sanity came back out, dragging Roderick Strong with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this causes uh, Dillinger to go check on him. Dill or all of Sanity is in the ring now. And Sanity's or Eric Young's like, Yo, dead this. This one's on you. Ty Dillinger, this is your fault. He is the most homeless sounding voice I ever heard. He, he, well, he is Eric Young. Yeah, yeah. And his character is being kind of homeless, I guess. At this. Point. So, um, he, here's the question. Mm hmm. Are we getting a one on one match with, against Eric Young and. Ty Dillinger, or are we going to have a 4v4 match? I think we're leading tag. towards a 4v... I think we're leading to the 4v4 intergender match. I just don't know who the fourth for the... Team Dillinger is. I, I, I have a suggestion. Yes? Da, 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 da. One second. I need to get the... the uh, wait, go, go. wait a second. Google. Wait for it. <laughs> you really should have prepared this ahead of time. I'm sorry. I I, I literally just thought of this. Um, oh my god. We're keeping this in. I hope you know this. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah, because I'm doing the editing now and I can decide what makes you look like a dumb. House? Then you've yes. <laughs> As long no as you one may to have all that power. Da, 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 da. Ah. Da 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 I think I is that blue pants? Blue pants. Blue pants. I I Although the the proper way to do it is just the proper way to do it is to just sing the freaking Price is Right theme. Da, 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 yeah, I don't da, know what they were da, thinking with their second theme song, da, da, but like Cass doing the Price is Right theme was infinitely better. Yes. Um, now, see, the thing is, there isn't really another woman on the main on NXT that you could have. They could elevate someone like this because. They they did sign a few big names, like 
apparently uh, one of the Japanese female wrestlers just got signed. Although no, I couldn't be her unless it was a mystery opponent at Mania. But uh, hang on, let me look up, see what the name of this person was. I can edit this part out myself to make me look not look like a dumb. <laughs> oh, here it is. Uh, but I won't. Uh, Kyrie Hojo uh, got signed to a WWE contract. See... See, the problem is by bringing some, you need to have someone who's connected to the rest of them in some way. Yeah, but it, who is that person? Like they've that, that's had why, no that's interaction Blue, with any of the females. That's why Blue Pants could come just come in because she'd done that before. That's true. She she is and I, I would perennial. Mm -hmm. I mean. It, She's NXT's perennial. I need a female tag team partner. Oi, blue pants, come here. <laughs> uh, WWE has uh, Princess Kimberly on their roster. Like, time, time to bring her up. Why not? Maybe I don't know. Um. Hmm. Anyway. So, so uh, no way Jose comes out to join the fray, and uh, he does Jack. Yeah, like basically Dillinger and Jose look at each other and are like, you want to do something really fucking stupid? And they storm the rain. And then they get, then they proceed to get destroyed. <laughs> you remember that scene from, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Pacific Rim, where mm -hmm. they're in the, uh, in the robot and it's just been powered down because the kaiju just shot some big EMT. electrical canceling yeah. thing yeah and yeah and he pulls out the flare and he's like we're about we could go out there and do something really fucking stupid that's basically what was happening there they're basically yep. going up against a fucking kaiju yeah they they need they, they need their giant mech and they don't have their giant mech <laughs> There is an option, though. Yeah? Well, no, they wouldn't do that. No, that, that, ignore me. Basically, okay. so, there is, mm -hmm. this, this is either going to be a, this is either going to be split into two matches or be one match. Either, so you think it may be strong and Jose versus Dane and Wolf? Yeah, Dane and Wolf win, then Ty versus um Eric Young. Yeah. Ty wins, moves up to main. Mm. Then uh, Sanity I, I think, proceeds I think... to destroy a um 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 Jose and Strong because now it's two B three. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Yeah. Uh, although I still think Dillinger's winning that NXT title at some point. Uh, uh, oh, I, I see him going up before. He, I, I see him being one of the, like, the Sami Zayn in where, actually, no, Sami Zayn won it, didn't he? Yeah, Sami Zayn won, won the NXT title. Oddly enough, I'm wearing a Sami Zayn shirt right now. That's weird. Yeah, that's so uh dane and wolf also dane and wolf uh debuted a new uh combo finisher it was like a i didn't like uh, it. Eh. it like they're uh... like the one that they had back when uh sawyer fulton was in the group was da better dane's like the part that um demo does is perfectly fine the drop kick doesn't work yeah, because it, it looks like it's not having any effect. It looks like he's just kind of grazing him mm. on the way down. It, 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 and it, 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 there is yeah. the option of doing a neck breaker into that, like like neck breaker or whatever, mm -hmm. or oh, I don't know. So, um, if you really wanted to, you could steal a move from another tag team. Why not? All right, so um, anyway, after that we had uh, oh, this this one was kind of fun. I uh, it was Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, and they were trying to find a place to hang their Breakout Star of the Year award. 
Mm-hmm. It, had, it was yeah. liter- it was literally being filmed on Peyton Royce's phone. That that's what I love about um, NXT is they're willing to do that kind of stuff. Uh, um, like and, and let them put it up online, like on, yeah. on and make yeah, it yeah. part of the show. Like they probably just did that as a thing. And probably spoke mm. to the trainer and um, Amber about doing that. And they probably went, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it was a fun little segment. Uh, they saw Ember Moon uh, training on the other side of Pain of Glass. And they got real big and be like, ha ha, you ain't shit, Ember. And then Ember comes around the corner and is just like, hey, chill. It, mm-hmm. was, it was good. I, I really liked it. And... It led naturally into a match later tonight, uh, Moon versus Billy Kay. Which was ostensibly a number one contenders match. Pretty much. Uh, we also got an Alistair Black segment. Yes, I was wondering who that was. I was like, Faith Black, and I went, for a minute there, I was like, wait a minute, why are they turning, turning Seth Rollins back into Tyler Black? Nope. Nope, that's Tommy <laughs> End, bitches. Oh, Tommy End. Tommy End. Anyway, oh, by the way, the uh, Alex, Alistair Black uh, vignette, it was, it was creepy. It had, like, a lot of uh, churches um, and and stained glass and candles. It was all creepy. I love I've it. I noticed something. NXT likes mm-hmm. to do creepy st- stuff with their um, promo vignettes. It seems to be the direction that they're headed towards. Yeah, because we've had but... Sanity, Ember Moon. And... Even not just then, we had fucking arson and attempted murder on the last two episodes of SmackDown. Yeah, WWE's going back to the, like, the good it's portion getting... of the Attitude Era where there was less swearing, there was less blood, uh, but it was mainly... It was... It, it, it was it, just violent. Violent and a bit dark, and there was the occasional swearing when it was needed. Yeah. Because I don't, I do not mind swearing in wrestling. I think it works perfectly fine if it's needed. <laughs> Especially if you're the gorillas of destiny. <laughs> we 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 will bring. The, I think that's um like how many weeks in a row we've mentioned the gorillas of destiny and their swearing. I'm. See, we're gonna start a tracker. <laughs> Ding. Um, anyway um, So I want to talk sorry. about Hoho Loon versus Andrade Almas I'm sorry But all I thought when I heard Hoho Loon's music is When did Naruto start playing? Which, which, which tab was, is that on? It was very oriental Shall we put it Now the term jobbing gets kind of thrown around kind of willy-nilly these days. But um, Ho-Ho Loon got jobbed fucking harder than I've seen anyone get jobbed in a while. Like, did you see the most recent episode of 205? Yeah. Like, Tozawa beat A. Brian Kendrick, and it wasn't as bad of a job. Like, a literal jobber got in more offense on Akira Tozawa than Ho-Ho Loon, a man who made it to the second round of the CWC, did to Andrade Almas. Speaking... Like, so, um... We will, re- we will restate this time and time again. Almas needs to drop a name. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's getting... A, although, to be fair... It is getting a little easier for me to say Andrade Cien Almas, but to be it's a also fair, to be also fair, I usually just say Cien Almas. Yeah, I, I say I've uh, yeah, I, I say that too. It's like yeah, we could just make it this because it's it's shorter, it's easier, it rolls off the tongue, and that's kind of what you and want. And it actually says something in Spanish. That mm. it means a hundred souls. So, um, so basically, after this incredibly so short match, I think Ho Ho Loon hit. Oh, sorry, I just want to say real quick, 
Ho Ho Loon basically got four kicks off in this whole match, and it looked like none of them did any damage. He, he, he got a fair few drop kicks, but all of them, like, it looked like, like, like he, he was... right back up! It looked like he wasn't even, like, there was the tiniest bit of selling when it came to it, the drop kicks. Yeah. It, like, first part of the match, um, Andrade is in the ring, and, right as the bell rings, and he looks like he gives fucking no shits. And uh, he's kind of posturing, and Loon goes for a roll-up, and he doesn't even fall backwards. He just stands there and goes, nope, and fucking decks him. Yeah, he stomps and, on him. Yeah, like, I will say, the one criticism that a lot of people had with uh, Ho-Ho from the CWC was that he didn't sell very well. He fucking sold! He kind of had to, because it looked like he was getting legit beaten, but he was selling. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and Andrade killed him with the Hammerlock DDT. Which looks lovely, by the way. Oh, it's a great-looking move. And... The way, the angle that he went down, it looked like he spiked his head. I don't think he did, like, but it looked like that. It, it all, like, this match almost felt like they were hazing him. Mm. Just send him out there with the fucking stiff guy. It's like, it's like what they used to do with Hardcore Holly. Yeah. It, it, Just send the rookie out there with him. Yeah. And then he sent him. Then they sent him out against a rookie by the name of Brock Lesnar and got his neck broke. Whoops. You know what's weird? <laughs> like apparently in like shoot interviews that Hardcore Holly's had, he doesn't begrudge him for it. And he was like, "Yeah, I love working with, with Brock. He, he works a stiff style, and I like it." And I'm just like, Holly, you are a fucking madman. Yeah, it's it's Hardcore Holly. Hardcore Holly. He. He's hardcore. He's hardcore. He's hardcore. So, um. You just anyway. reminded me of Eugene. Thank you. That's what I do. Uh, let's see here. Oh, <laughs> next up was the uh, Amber Moon versus Billy Kay match. So, um, I, I want to go into a big tirade at the moment. So, go for it. The, the Eclipse is a lovely move that looks good if it's hit correctly. If it isn't hit mm -hmm. correctly, you're going to hurt and injure someone. You shouldn't do it. It relies far too much on on both opponents for it to be like safe. Like it, it would only take one person fucking up, where like someone could legitimately have their neck snapped if they don't do it correctly. Can I tell you something? Mm. Work. Billy Kay's not actually hurt. Yeah, but I'm still right. You're still right, but at the same time, it hasn't injured anybody yet for realsies. And this, uh, this thing at the end. That so we know basically, of. no, they would have. They would have mentioned it. Like, no, no, like there's I'm always news that pops up. I'm saying out of WWE. Oh, okay. Well, like, this whole thing at the end of the uh, Ember Moon Billy K match, basically, uh, jumping straight to the end. Um, we all knew who was going to win this match. Yeah, Moon hits the Eclipse, gets the pin, blah, blah, blah. And Peyton Royce gets really pouty on the outside. That was funny. So she, like, Billy K basically lays in the ring and sells the uh, the eclipse like a fucking gunshot and she uh, takes like five minutes to get up like the medical staff has to come out Peyton Royce is visibly freaking out mm -hmm. and the whole while this is all going on Nigel McGuinness is selling the holy fuck out of the eclipse mm -hmm. and by doing this they are establishing this is a move that might be able to put down Asuka. Now, see, th th there is a problem with, like, WWE-like moments, correct? Mm-hmm. Asuka is about to hit a big moment. Mm-hmm. She's about to break Bro Goldberg's streak. Mm-hmm. 
So here's the question: Do they keep it going and have her be have her first match in on the main roster be the number that knocks her over uh, over Goldberg? Here's the funny thing: uh, We still have. 25 days, I believe, the graphics said this week, until mm-hmm. WrestleMania. And I'm sure that there is going to be a house show or five between now and then. I'm pretty sure that she's going to break Goldberg's record before we get to take over Orlando. What what I think is it's going to be take over Orlando and uh, if she wins, she breaks it. If she loses, she's tied it. I don't that that would be a really cool storyline. I, I think that would be something kind of cool. That would be good storyline. And whether she wins or loses, she walks into Raw or SmackDown, wherever she goes, and can instantly say, when I was in NXT, I was un- undefeated for as long as Brock... As, not Brock Lesnar, as Goldberg. Fear me. It, it, it yeah. gives her legit fear. It gives them... Well, it gives her legit um... credibility. Yeah, credibility. And I, I'm going to state this: I want her on SmackDown because there is already mm-hmm. far too many people on Raw to have her. Because then half the roster, uh, over half the roster, already is protected. We don't need another person mm-hmm. in there protected. Right. A uh, couple of quick other things about the uh, Ember Moon Billy Kay match. Um, Billy Kay has a fucking nice roaring elbow. Yeah, like she pulled that out on Ember and just went ow, and I was just like, I I, I, I thought I that. if I didn't know any better, I was like, okay, that's the end of the match. But I know Ember Moon's winning this. Yeah, that, that, not, not that, that I looked could up be a finisher. Not that I looked up the <laughs> results. It's more that I know where we're headed. Yeah. yeah, we're headed to two undefeated gals going after each other at fucking takeover. Hmm. Although here's that would have been a, a legit real... question for you. Here's that a legit question a... for you. If that elbow did drop Go her ahead. and Billy Kay did win, that would have been a really cool moment and such. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Here's a question for you. Hmm. Could... Asuka versus Ember Moon main event. No, not really. Because it, it, over... it, it's it's over. It's just it's Nakamura versus either Cassius Ono or Bobby Roode. I'm sorry, right. girls, but that's a that 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 is main event match. Second, well, if it's if so... it's Nakamura versus Roode, it's a match we've already seen. Yeah, but it's. Nakamura, like, just because we've already seen it doesn't mean it's less important. That's true, but it's also, like, if we're, if they use all the storylines possible, like, with the undefeated streak and possibly matching Goldberg and, like, that, like we, we could. Honestly, they might not even be thinking about that streak. The only reason we know about that is because someone's done the math and gone, hey, she's really close to breaking mm-hmm. this thing. Also, Goldberg tweeted about it, I think. Really? Yeah. That worries me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and also, I've come to the conclusion that uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce have pissed off their wardrobe designer. Yes. Because, like, both of their outfits do nothing to extend... Yeah, they do nothing to accentuate how hot they actually are. Because, like, Honestly, the first time I saw those two in those outfits, I thought, these are okay-looking women. And then I saw, like, sh- shots of them, like, in, in normal clothes. They are stupid hot. I know they are stupid hot. They're Australian. We do stupid hot but... really well. <laughs> But Chris, like, Chris Helms of uh, fuck. I I would like to point out Thor Wolverine. Mm. Fuck you. <laughs> Both you know Australians. Both hot as fuck. It's like we got we got nothing over here. I, I'm trying to think of like oh I'm trying to think of our hot people and cricket cricket cricket. <laughs> uh, the swamp air does bad things to our complexion. Anyway, so after this whole 
Dealey Bob, we got a TJ Perkins interview. Which was... It was a TJ Perkins interview. Uh, I, I did like I, his I, justification I would for like, fighting Nakamura. I, I, I would like <laughs> to point out something. It's better than anything he's done on Raw. Or That's 205 true. Live. Also true. But I but like his justification for wanting to fight Nakamura hmm. is basically because he wants to face the comp or good competition and there's no better competition right now than Nakamura. It, it did put him it put Nakam over pretty strong, even if it did kind of do that at the expense of the rest of the cruiserweight division. Oh yeah, the cruiserweight but, division's fucked. Hmm. Well, they're getting better. Yeah. They've got Austin Aries now. Yeah, they do. They'll probably be getting Hideo Itami after Mania. Uh, also, I want to point out, there is mm -hmm. someone else they could pull in. Roderick. No. Um, so, so, so if Sami Zayn was willing to pull double duty... Ole, he's, ole, he's, ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Who, who I'd wanted... rather see him win. I'd rather see him win the United States title. Oh yeah, we like we all agree. We, well, actually, I wouldn't put it past as Owens winning, beating um, Jericho, and then Sami Zayn coming in and fighting him. For like, yeah, it would be the perfect from now to like they have a few from now till SummerSlam. Yeah. I would love that, actually. It, it makes perfect sense. So, um, anyway. Because Sami Zayn's uh, kind of been... Sami Zayn's kind of been the, the third person in the Jericho Owens, um... In the Jericho Owens feud. Mm-hmm. Kind of yeah. like warning so... Jericho and such and Like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. All right. Next match. Um, we um, had the revival versus the Ely brothers. Gabriel um, and Uriel. Yeah. Like, a, okay, this is going back a ways, but I believe Jerry Seinfeld did a a, a stand up joke about this about uh about twins whose names rhyme. There's always one that's normal. And one that is not normal. Like, mm. you get uh, Gregory and Schmeggery. Well, like, that, see, that, ha the, that the happened thing here is, with poor Uriel. Well, y they're both angel names. That's their gimmick. They're angels. Really? Yes. Uriel. Yes. I've never heard that. I went to, like, I went to Catholic school for a couple years, and I've never heard that. Um, you, Uriel, see, that's the thing. I'm stretching this, but it might be a um Diablo reference. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's Maybe. A, a bit of a stretch. I'm stretching it here. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it is a cat. It is a um angel name. I think. I was about to say, my my four years of Catholic school training did not go to waste. <laughs> so, um, anyway. If, if I am right wrong, the... may the towel mm -hmm. section, aka the description, not description, the comments, strike me down with furious vengeance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Alright, so as the Ely brothers are coming to the ring, they get fucking annihilated by the authors. And I love the reaction from Dash Wilder. Oh, shit. Because Scott, Daw Scott, Scott Dawson is, like, panicking. It's like, oh, fuck the authors. <laughs> Scott Dawson is seeing uh, the authors, like, murder the shit out of the Ely brothers, and it's just like, <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, wait. oh shit, here they come. <laughs> um... Like, he has the exact same re uh, reaction that that Dawson has, but five seconds later, and realizing what's in that about five to seconds, he's just like, he's just loving it. So, um, after that, when the Office of Pain are leaving, I saw a sign that I loved. It is a mm -hmm. picture of re it, it, it's one of those something for dummies. This one is wrestling for dummies, and it has a cartoon drawing of 
the office of pain. I laugh oh. my ass off at that. Oh, ho, ho. I I want to imagine that Paul Ellering saw that, and after after the uh, thing went off the air, he just gets the authors and just points at it, and they start walking that guy's direction. He's just like, no, okay. See, so, see, see, they're the authors of that book. <laughs> I'm terrible. Oh. Oh. Now you're being clever. I'm being clever next with the match. name. Next match. And, and the next match was. Oh, oh. By the way, before we do, uh, there, uh, AOP has a new shirt. It says "War is our peace." That's do... fucking metal. That that is metal as hell, but that should go to to um someone else. Sanity? Maybe sanity. When they start going, like, when they say, like, they say we're going to war with the entirety of NXT. And, like, just yeah, like that. feed that line into what Eric Young is saying. Mm -hmm. That would yeah, that work, work more with sanity, honestly. Um, which... Even still, I fucking like this, one. this oh, yeah. shirt idea. The, the, the shirt is good. Um, so... I want to state something about the, um, so, um, next we have the, um, the announcement of a match at, um, NXT Orlando TakeOver? Mm -hmm. TakeOver and, Orlando. Yeah, TakeOver Orlando. That being Ember Moon versus, um, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not going to give you this hint. <laughs> I know. I know I'm terrible. Oscar. You're awful. That you person. You are awful. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. We're both yeah, tired. Yeah, yeah. Like, Ember Moon's line in this was kind of corny. She, was just, she says, At NXT TakeOver Orlando, we will be entering a new phase. And I'm just like, Yeah. Christ. See, that's the problem. She's a good wrestler, but we have heard jack shit about her on mic work. Yeah, like, she... She needs to be a silent badass. Like, granted, they already have one silent badass. Have oh. two fucking silent badasses walk into NXT together and just have them fucking murder each other. Yeah, because the thing about Asuka is she doesn't talk much, and when she does talk, it means something, and she actually is good at talking. She just mm -hmm. chooses not to, like um yeah. when, when um like um um, um Botchamania uses the line a lot when it was her versus Nia Jax and she just says you talk too much, <laughs> and that it's like good. it is delivered perfectly and it's like oh that was lovely because it like she was mm -hmm. talking too much you said what we were thinking. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, af after that, we had uh, Cassius Ohno getting interviewed by Tom Phillips. He he says he was actually there when they were moving into the performance center, which was kind of cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, yeah, he says he kind of doubts himself a bit, and he won't be able to put uh, the the doubt into rest until he gets the title. So I think he's gonna lose this match. Have a match at um. Have a match at Takeover. Um, win that, and then go after Rude for the title, because we all know Nakamura is heading to Raw, or SmackDown, mm -hmm. after no, I was about to say SmackDown. R Raw or SmackDown, he, it, it, it's, he's going to the main roster, is what I'm getting at, after Mania. Yeah. Like, he, he'd probably be one of those first Raw, first SmackDown, and um, things. After Mania. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and immediately after the Ono oh interview, uh, we had a satellite interview with Bobby Roode. Shut up, Tom! Shut up! It's like it's like Corey Graves never left. And uh... he says things he's like, "I'm building this brand." And Ono oh is a stink face, glorious, blah blah blah. Yes. It, it was it was Bobby Roode's promo. Yeah. Um, after that, we have our main event. Shinsuke Nakamura versus TJP. 
Perkins. Which um, was probably the match of the night and probably was TJ Perkins' best match of the... Of, like since, since the CWC. Yeah, basically since the CWC. I'd, I'd yeah. even almost say better than his work in the CWC. Incorrect, sir. Incorrect. Uh, his ma- his finals match against uh, Metallic was mm. fucking art. Uh, I want to talk about the little girl in this match. Oh, yes. Because this was so good. <laughs> this is why so, I love wrestling. That little girl's reactions. Yes, because yes, at the very start of the match, uh, Perkins is coming down, doing his old dab, boom, thing. And he he gives this girl his uh, glasses. And he, he goes for a fist bump and... He's just standing there for five seconds as this girl turns around and unknowingly is leaving TJ Perkins hanging and looking like a fucking dork. I know. And, and, and then she turns around and realizes, oh, and then gives him... Mercifully. Mercifully gives him the fist bump. And it was the silliest <laughs> thing ever. And then a girl oh, in the crowd is repeatedly shouting TJ Perkins... Let's go. Yeah, TJ. she's trying to st- she's trying to start a let's go TJ chant for like the entire second half of the match. It might have been more. It was <laughs> so cute. It was so cute and oh. sweet. And then everyone was just like, Nakamura. No. Well, here's the funny thing. By the end of the match, it was about a 50-50 split. There was about yeah. an even Nakamura TJ against. Yeah, and like, and, it- and then there was the one point where for about like two or three seconds and they nearly chanted entered Shinsuke's gonna kill you <laughs> yeah um that being said TJ needs to turn heel I think I think he needs to Cause... be douchebag millennial yes because Do- the whole dabbing thing d- like, douchebag for... millennial who is nice <laughs> to the other millennials Right, right, right. So for like, like for the like the young kids who are like like young teens and such, he'll be the coolest guy around. But for all of us older people, he'll he, be a douchebag. He's an insufferable twat face. Yes, like, and that would work so it, like, well with his character because it just would. Yeah, like I don't know why everybody hates dabbing so much, but like if he does that while he's heel. People will be like, I want to see this man die. Also, what's really good is if he did go heel, he would be instantly put as the like second or third heel on the roster because they don't they have a lot of faces and not many heels. Yeah, they have exactly one heel well, two heels, I guess. It's basically the order of progression goes uh Neville. Uh, Dar. Kendrick, Dar, and then there's a fucking drop off until you get to Nice, Davari, and Gulak. And 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 Nice and Gulak can kind of go either way, depending on yeah, where they're, 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 they're a bit interchangeable. Yeah, they're kind but, of tweeners, but not the good kind. Yeah, they're, they're tweeners in that they aren't developed that well yeah. i have an idea for for drew gulak like he comes out in those like kind of medieval sort of gladiator his... stuff yeah yeah and uh t and uh neville has called himself the king of the cruiserweight so if he's a king how about he gives himself some knights mm. or, or or um or guards like he's royal yeah. guard Exactly. It, like, it, it would, so- honestly, I don't think it cares. I don't think it matters or cares because we all agree that Ares is taking that belt. <gasps> Dude, Neville is holding that title for a fucking year. No. Like, they've hot, they've hot potatoed the title enough. It's time to put the title on one guy, settle it down, have him face a... Because he... Like we said. See, th- there's a problem with that. Neville has mm-hmm. beaten everyone. No, he hasn't. Yes, he, he hasn't ha- beaten Tazawa. He hasn't beaten Tazawa. He hasn't beaten Mustafa Ali. He hasn't beaten 
the ah. Uh, there's I plenty of other has. like. Not for the title, I but don't. I think he has. I really don't think he's faced either of those guys because they just started pushing Tozawa. Oh yeah, and, to Tozawa, uh, I'm pretty sure he hasn't, but that is a match that I don't. Think but still, that's a to... those are feuds that can happen down the road, and throw in like Hideo but or the, the problem is Roderick Strong. The the problem is the current story mm -hmm. is Neville doesn't have anyone to face at the moment. And he, that, that's like the entire crux of Ares going, fuck you, I'm here. I suppose. But I, I, I still think... like I love how we went from the said, NXT main event to hey, Cruiserweights. We're going to get to the end there in a second. But like, it, it also doesn't help that there is like we said, hardly any other heels for him to face. Because, like, once once Ares gets the title, who's he dropping it to? Uh, let's see. Darn? He's... Well, he, he doesn't need to drop it to someone straight away. Having, uh, having Ares hold the belt for a good six months wouldn't hurt either. Okay, who does he feud with then? Well, Neville needs to get his rematch. So that, okay, that's one month. That that's one month, roughly. Five to go. Good luck, fucker. Now this is where you can. This, then you have him go up against. Um, no, that Nikki, you're forgetting something. Mm -hmm. Ares is a beautiful heel as well. Ah. So, so, so like the first two or three months, well, then, we have him play face, and then he, the moment he's like, there's no one. No one can beat me. I don't care who you are. And then you just have the faces start going up against him because they're like, we're sick of your cocky shit. Yeah, I, I would, I would rather have because Ares is I a would beautiful rather... heel as much as he is a beautiful face. I would rather have Neville hold the title for a fucking long time, have him fight every smiley good guy face in the division, have him fight Tazawa, have him fight. Ali, I've haven't figured a way. Grand Metallic. I, I, I've had. Grand... I've, I've figured a way how you can extend the Ares, um, Ares Neville feud for a while. Mm -hmm. DQ at Mania. No, you don't want to do DQs at Mania. Like Mania is where we go to get actual results. Yeah, but the problem is we've th this feud is a month is going to be a month long, so it's not like I don't see it being. In the main show, I see it in the pre-show. At, at the very least, have it be a screwy finish, but yeah, that, an that's what I'm. Pinfall. I, I'm, I'm saying like pinfall, but his legs on the rope or something. So then they have yeah, a match. Th like that's have, at least something. Th then next month you have another match between Aries and Thing, and um, Neville, and then like you have the match be a DQ finish or something, and then. And a month later, you have them in the blow-off match, which is like a steel cage match or a ladder match. Uh, yeah, that will work. So, some, something right. with weapons where you can't d get disqualified or something. Yeah. So anyway, now let's get TJ Perkin it. would be a better heel, yes. Yes. So uh, basically the whole story of this match was... Um, uh, Perkins was targeting the bad knee. He was testing it out, see how well he could like see how well he could soften it up for eventually putting on the knee bar and uh i yeah, don't like his like, knee bar i like it like it's, i see, like it when the... he does i like it when he does the three stage knee bar like he did on metallic see the reason that, why I that don't... was violent the, the reason why i don't like it is mm -hmm. because the champagne super knee bar from noam da is far better yeah, it's pretty true. much the exact same thing, but the name is far better. <laughs> true. Champagne Super Knee Bar is fucking it. Do they use that as... No. Damn. Y yeah, you now know why I'm pissed off. Because I was watching him in it in WCPW, and it's like, I, when I heard out he was going to be... Champagne the... Super Knee Bar! When I heard he was going to be in the um, Cruiserweight Classic, I was going, oh god, I want to hear Corey Graves or... Um... Or, um, mm. basically, I wanted to hear someone call Champagne Super Neba on Raw. 
there's probably some type of like uh the they couldn't get the rights to say it oh like, no 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 see that's the thing because it's a reference referential humor is perfectly legal mm. that's why I mean, you that's why like um family guy can do what they do and same with south park mm. yeah all right so um Anyway, TJ ended up eating a Kinshasa to the face. Uh, Naka wins. Really and then Regal pops up. It was a good match. I will say that. Like like we said, it was probably... Uh, it was at the very least uh, TJP's best match since the CWC. If I was going to give and... it a star rating, I would say 3.5, maybe 4 at the very best. Maybe? Eh, I'd go 3 and 3 quarters. Uh, and then after the match was over... Regal popped up on screen and said that Nakamura would be facing the winner of Ono versus uh, Bobby Roode at TakeOver Orlando. We have our main event set, pretty much. Yeah. And we also got to, we also knew that um, next week we get a title match between Roode and um, Ono. Yeah. So the uh, takeover I... Orlando card is is coming together quite nicely. We have uh, so um, we already have the three title matches set up. So here's a question for you: mm-hmm. the week before Mania, the week of Mania, basically, do we want mm-hmm. to instead of reviewing NXT, predict? Predicting? Yeah. Yes. I I think that's what is what we should do. Yeah, do it a do a prediction for Takeover Orlando. I I, yeah. I was thinking the same thing a couple of uh, days ago, and that makes all the sense in the world to me. Yeah, because usually that last week is they don't really add anything. It's more just story build up and yeah, it's just a recap episode. Yeah. Anyway, we will see you all next week. Yeah, there's gonna be stuff next week. Yes, it's gonna they... be a big title match. There's a title match. We must review said title match. And I'm pretty sure Ono is losing. We'll see. Anyway, 